Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna cover all the recent mining news, which includes early RTX 3050 hash rates, the new 6500 XT AMD card hash rates, more information about Sapphire's specific mining edition cards, and again, one really, really lucky solo miner. Let's get started. We're talking about the RTX 3050, which is getting released on January 27th. And you can see right here some information on it. It's listed already on Zotac's website. And the question has been, is it going to be LHR? And yeah, it is. That's the answer. So over on videocards.com, you can see this just released. These are some early numbers for Ethereum hash rates on this GPU, which look horrible. They look absolutely terrible. You can see the light hash algorithm definitely is coming into play here. And in this example, this card is only able to do 12.5 mega hash. And if you saw my last video, really sizing it up versus AMD cards, it should be able to do around what a 6600 does. So you should be looking like 30 mega hash if this thing was fully unlocked. So we're seeing only 12 and a half mega hash on this card for Ethereum. And then another leaker posted their results, which was a little bit more, which is 13.66 mega hash. So Still, I guess even less than what I would assume it would be able to do on Ethereum. We don't have any numbers yet on any of the other algorithms, which I assume will be unaffected, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm definitely personally interested in picking up one of these cards just to see how it does on those other algorithms. So I'm going to be looking for them coming up January uh, 27th. The other card that did come out in this last week is AMD's hilarious 6500 XT. So it's a four gigabyte card so for miners like i have no interest in this card though i know a lot of people just love to pick up any new gpu just to see what it can do hash rate wise and so one of those people is good old chump change xd he's a cryptocurrency miner on youtube check him out the link will be in the description below for his channel and you can see that he's tested ethereum classic ravencoin flux and the new ton coin and one thing to obviously know about any four gigabyte card is it's really limited in what it can mine it cannot mine ethereum it cannot mine Fira because the dag file sizes are too large on those cryptocurrency networks so i looked at a couple that i was interested in which you can see raven coin coming up right here he tested that you're coming in 8.5 mega hash just to put that in perspective the 6600 xt will do about 17 mega hash so really 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 underperforming card and then he also i was interested in seeing how it did on ethereum classic just to size up what this gpu might have done if it could mine ethereum and you're looking at 13 mega hash per second so not a good card for mining and it seems like also not a good card for gaming from everything that i've seen uh in in all the tech reviewers moving on from there some more amd stuff the sapphire g pro x060 so i talked about this in one of the last mining news videos. And the reason I'm bringing it up again is because I just bought one. So it caused me to look into it a little bit more to see what the difference is really between this card and the 6600 because they seem like they would just do the same thing. So I looked into it and you can see them over on techpowerup.com looking at the specs and it looks like the clock speed differences uh, is, is probably one of the biggest things here. You can see the memory clock comes up higher there's a uh, 16 gigabit per second memory clock here there's a lower boost clock for the core there's a higher memory bandwidth by a little bit so i would think it could do a little bit more than the 6600 but everything that i've seen so far just some early testing that's been out there it looks like it performs exactly the same i'm gonna pick one up i already did i got it from triple a wave here you can buy one right now as i'm making this video 569 dollars not a great price considering the 6600s you can get for under $500, like $450. But I wanted to pick one up because I do have the exact same card, a Sapphire Pulse in 6600. And I really want to compare the two, not only performance wise, but I want to take them apart, see what they're all about and just com compare and contrast the two cards just to see. I don't know. I'm just interested. So if you're not subscribed to the channel already, subscribe to the channel. I'll have videos on that coming up probably later this week. All right, last thing that I wanted to talk about is more solo mining. So last week I talked about the really lucky Bitcoin solo miner. In fact, there was two really lucky uh, Bitcoin solo miners who beat all the odds and made a, a heck of a lot of money. Looks like potentially the same thing happened with Ethereum. So 
I'm a little confused on this one, and maybe you guys can shed some light down in the comment section for me. So the story here is that a solo miner on two miner solo pool mined an Ethereum block that was 168 Ethereum, which I don't understand because what you should be getting is the base block reward and then the miner tip and any of the fees get burnt. So I'm not sure why this was 168 Ethereum when the block reward is certainly not that. So I looked into it a little bit further. I went over and looked at the transaction, which you can see over here on Etherscan. And yeah, there it is, value, 168 Ethereum, currently valued at $463,000. And they, it, the, the story is that they did that only with 2.25 giga hash, which is you know, that's, that could just be a home miner, just like me and you that has 2.25 giga hash and was lucky enough to hit a solo block with that amount of Ethereum on it worth at the time, even $540,000. I mean, if that's true, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. I went over and found their address here on two miners and you can see that's them current hash rate, 2.3 giga hash. They haven't changed their rig. They're still mining. Um, and I went and looked at the reward and there it is. Like there's the 168 reward that they hit in the last seven days worth that amount of money. You can see their personal luck. Like that's it. They hit that. I just don't understand it fully because the block reward shouldn't be that high uh, on Ethereum considering the fees that are getting burned. So I, I tried to research it for a little bit. But then I figured I'd just talk about it here and there's somebody that's really smart uh, that's going to post in the comments section to let us all know how that was even possible. But that's it, guys. That is the news for this week in cryptocurrency mining. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments section below. Again, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing some videos on that Sapphire mining specific edition card. So please subscribe to the channel. Check those videos out if you like. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in the next video.